What's up, everyone? This is Tech Trooper 64 and today we have an article on Grand Theft Auto 5 and technically Rockstar North. So I was kind of hesitant to make this article because, honestly, I hate Grand Theft Auto. I've always hated the game series. I always thought it was like a cancer to gaming. Um, until I played GTA 5, it's a fun game, but the thing is, it's still kind of a cancer to gaming. I still think so anyway, that's just my opinion. I've never been a huge fan of the Grand Theft Auto series, um, and I never think I will be. But I gotta say, Rockstar has got some talented developers over there, and they make some pretty good games. Uh, especially, like, the Grand Theft Auto series. When you look at it as a video game, yes, it's built very good and nicely, and people should look up to Rockstar as role models but however i have to say i'm not a big fan of grand theft auto but anyway enough about what i think about grand theft auto let's get into the article so leslie benzies the former head of rockstar north developer of the grand theft auto series has accused take two interactive rockstar and the hauser brothers for withholding royalties benzies left rockstar north in january after being sab sabbatical in, on September 1st, 2014. According to Polygon, Benzies is suing Take-Two Interactive for $150 million, saying the company tried to force him out after his time off. Here's the statement that Christopher Bakes, a partner at the Locked Lord Law Firm representing Benzies. While on sabbatical, Mr. Benzies discovered numerous deceptions on the part of Take-Two, Rockstar, Rockstar North Limited, Sam Hauser, and Dan Hauser, who sought to force him out of the company and terminate his portion of the royalty payments based on his arbitrary actions by the company's Royalty Allocations Committee, a committee that may or may not have actually met. Benzies claims that he tried to go back to work on April 1st, 2015, but according to GameIndustry.biz, Bakes said that Mr. Benzies found, for, found himself unable to enter Rockstar North office because his fi facility's access device has been deactivated. Damn. Once security let him inside, Benzies was then ordered to leave by the Rockstar North o office manager without reason. Wow. So, that is the original article of the whole, uh, like Leslie Benzies uh, suing Rockstar North. Now, we have an update from Rockstar Games who has said the following statement. Leslie Benzies was a valued employee of our company for many years. Sadly, the events that have culminated into his resignation ultimately stem from his significant performance and conduct issues. Despite our repeated efforts to address and resolve these issues amicably, both before and after his departure, Leslie has chosen to take this route in an attempt to set aside contract terms to which he previously agreed on multiple occasions. His claims are entirely without merit and, in many instances, downright bizarre. We are very confident that this matter will be resolved in our favor. A court ethos since Rockstar's inception has been to concept the team. The, uh, it is deeply disappointing, and I am simply wrong for Leslie to attempt to take personal credit for what has always been a tremendous effort of the entire Rockstar team, who remained hard at work delivering the most immersive and engaging entertainment experiences we can for our fans. We do not intend to comment further on this matter. Wow. So that was a mouthful. But I gotta say, this is just Rockstar damage controlling. Now, is Leslie Benzies right on you know, attacking Rockstar North and suing them. Here's what I'm going to say. The thing is, Leslie Benzies, you might have found him Rockstar North, but in the statement that Rockstar gave, I got to say, they got a point. You can't just say that you did everything. Now, I know that this is more about how he got fired without even them telling him and be him being forced to leave the company, not even on his own terms, but... If this is him saying that he did all the work, well, I don't think that he did all the work. Especially, like, you can't develop a game like GTA V all by yourself. Even if you want to say how much you want to, you can't. It's impossible. Um, but Leslie Benzies, man, like, if, if this is about you fighting about the fact how you got fired when you were on leave... I can understand that that's pretty annoying and it can piss someone off. Like, my friend got fired from the job I was working at, at with him 
um, he got fired because, well, funny enough, he, we were having a change in management, and he got fired because the old manager didn't tell the new manager about him being on leave. So he was terminated to work at our store, and we never heard of him again. And when he came back from his vacation, it's just, wow, like he was surprised to hear that. But yeah, it, it's um, it's hard to hear, but I guess I kind of understand what they're getting to. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Do you think that Leslie is right for him suing Rockstar North for kicking him out without asking him or even letting him know while he was on vacation? Or do you think that Rockstar has a point that he's trying to say that he did everything by himself? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.